Hello and welcome back to Obsessive Chicks. Today I want to discuss rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide. Now I just went to the store and I came back and I'm going to put this up into my medical supplies and I just wanted to do a refresher course because we've all got our preps but we always have to go back and relook at our preps and as preppers we know just because the expiration date is on it FDA one thing or another that it's not necessarily always true for the expiration date. And I've done a little bit of research on rubbing alcohol and I've got 91% alcohol here and the biggest topic on this is how to store it for a longer period of time. So I'm going to take my four jars and put them in sterile mason jars and see if I can't get a longer shelf life out of my rubbing alcohol versus leaving them in the plastic. And what happens is your your liquid leaches out of your plastic over time. And so I'm going to do that. Also, I've got hydrogen peroxide, 3% hydrogen peroxide, and I want to put that back into my preps. But I also have hydrogen peroxide that I purchased and the expiration date is 2015. This is a full bottle of 2015. This is an open bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference and if it works or not. From everything that I'm reading is the alcohol will be fine. It just won't be the strength of what you think it's going to be. From what I understand, the 91% is more used for cleaning your medical implements, your scalpels, things like that. Um, so I think if you're 91% and over time the uh, percentage goes down, you would be fine. Um, also on the hydrogen peroxide, we all know that literally if it's not bubbling, it's not working. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my open containers and show you and then also my new container that's old. We'll see how that works. So in this whole topic of discussions, we get our prep set up. We have them shelf stable. Always just remember to go back, relook at your preps and see if anything is outdated, spoiled, if you need to rotate. And uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I constantly say rotate, rotate, rotate. There are certain element of stuff that we put on our shelves and we just kind of sit it there. But it doesn't hurt every once in a while to go back, revisit what you've got and make sure that you didn't use it or your kids didn't use it and it's not still there. Because over the years, let's be honest, we all have kids. Come on guys, your tools, there's always a wrench, a screwdriver missing. Moms in the kitchen, somehow like teaspoons disappear. So just revisit your preps and make sure that you still have what you had, conscious of what you have and the dates on it. Okay, so I've got my hydrogen peroxide up here, my new hydrogen peroxide. I've got alcohol, and then I've got witch hazel also. Now, witch hazel is one of those neat things that you can use it for acne, topical, your scalp, if you've got any kind of like rashes or anything. And witch hazel never expires. So that's a neat little thing. Um, on the alcohol, the hydrogen peroxide, if you want to see what I have in full preps, Go to a video, I'll leave them linked below. I've got two of them out there of our medical supplies. This is not even what we have for medical supplies. And granted, I'm a prepper. I've been doing this for a lot of years. And so, you know, I just kind of run all bases of, and uh, this is what I have inside my house. And I just wanted to give you a fresh reminder. Just wanted you to think about taking a look at your preps, seeing your expiration dates, and don't always follow just because it says expiration date. It's one of those things where I've had several comments because I store iodized salt and it has iodine in it. And it's like, well, it expires because the iodine is not any good. It's not that it's not any good. It's not the strength that when they put it in there. So one of those things where it's expired, that's ridiculous because all you're doing is losing the potency. And if you understand why they put the iodine in the salt was because of your thyroid issues and it was a supplement. There's also agents in there to keep the salt from clumping. And so those are not going to go bad. And, you know, if you're a prepper, you understand that just because it's stamped, the expiration date doesn't necessarily mean that it's expired. 
So I've got like basic band-aids. I leave them in plastic totes, mark them, the gauzes. Um, I've got like elastic bandages, tapes, um, the Germex. I kind of try to keep an eye on when that goes on sale and repurchase it because it is also alcohol based. I also have like just the simple, you know, your tapes. I have a liquid band-aid. Something to think about to having your preps is super glue. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than storing your liquid Band-Aid and it burns like a mother, but if you had a bad, bad cut, and yeah, the medical people out there are probably gonna scream, but it'll get a cut. Uh, it'll get All right, so you can see here, this bottle is 713 hydrogen peroxide. And this bottle has been open for quite some time. And the only way I can show it to you, the best way for me to show this is just taking a little swig. I'm not drinking it by any means. It's just gonna stay in my mouth and uh, show you what kind of action is going on. So you can see that there's foam happening still and this is literally from 2013. So this was my open bottle of hydrogen peroxide from 2013. Now this is a closed bottle from October 15th. You know now there's always been the everybody's like expiration dates, expiration dates, but it, everything that I have stored lasts so much longer when you put it inside dark cabinets, air conditioning, and it lasts so much longer than what FDA or anybody says. And it doesn't get any stronger. The whole thing is, is it gets weaker. They say not stronger, but weaker. So, okay, this is my new open bottle. Now, granted, I literally just gargled with the uh, hydrogen peroxide and it's still bubbling. It, but you can see, <laughs> there's foam still happening. That's all graceful, isn't it? The reason why I wanted to show you that was just because they show expiration dates on things doesn't necessarily mean that they do not still last. We had a bottle from 2013 open for, gosh, gosh, I don't even know how long, and it was still working on my mouth. The second batch, brand new bottle, 2015, I did, it didn't work as effectively, but that's because I'd already used the hydrogen peroxide before, but it was still working. So literally still store your hydrogen peroxide. Now those bottles, you're talking 58 cents for a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. So for me to take a swig and put that one down the drain to go get another bottle. You know, you're not doing, I'm doing the little test for you. Keep those bottles around 2013, we're talking 2019 right now, six years, and it's still good hydrogen peroxide opened. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. And if you wanna be notified for future videos, ring the bell. We also have an Instagram account that's the Obsessive Chicks. And if you're interested in watching kind of our day-to-day, -day, go on over to Instagram and we'll be there for you. Have a blessed day.